guys welcome to the wiki vox channel where the search for the truth begins today's topic will be five eyes new plan rcep versus cp tpp what will the world be after coronavirus pandemic we know that we have to live with the coronavirus many countries have lifted the lockdown india right now is in unblock 1.0 but to the world of commerce this is a huge setback people like you and me are only buying essential products we are not buying unnecessary or luxury products but there is a request or an accusation from the world of commerce in many countries unemployment is increasing in this situation the five eyes countries have given an announcement china is saying that the report submitted is against them the international community has requested india to join the rcep agreement yesterday we discussed thailand we discussed how important thailand's kra isthmus to the international community why is the international community calling for thailand for a conference we will discuss several truths in this video last week the uk gave an announcement the uk doesn't want huawei to provide a 5g services in their country it also doesn't want any business with the chinese corporate or china The country's decision is supported by America and Canada. You guys know Hong Kong protest against China. In support of the protesters, the 5I countries submits a report. We have two questions to ask here. What is 5I countries? What is the issue between these 5 countries and China? We have already discussed this topic. Please check out this link in the description of the video. Five eyes are formed to exchange intelligence among themselves and sharing it with other countries. Now, five eyes plus countries are Japan, South Korea, and France. What intelligence will Japan, South Korea, and France give to the five eyes countries? They will give intelligence about North Korea. Intelligence consists of what is happening in North Korea, what should happen. how to stop it this is the important work of japan and south korea by targeting north korea automatically china is also being targeted there is an agreement between japan south korea and america this is called tisa we will discuss in detail about tisa rcep tpp cp tpp organizations please remember these organizations The big introduction of this video is to inform you how trade in the world is going to change. We already know that trade is dominated by China in the world. The international community knows China's domination. All countries are going to join forces to avoid China. How are they going to stop China by signing agreements? We should understand RCEP and CPTPP now. First comes TISA. There was an agreement signed between three countries to share and exchange intelligence. This agreement is shared with the five eyes countries. Which countries are the five eyes countries? Countries like New Zealand, Australia, UK, America and Canada. These five nations are English speaking nations. These five eyes have introduced an economic pact against China. How are they going to configure the world trade? The primary objective of the pact is to avoid China. To avoid China, one among the five is refusing to oppose which is New Zealand. New Zealand opposes this pact. Five eyes countries supported the protesters in Hong Kong, but New Zealand didn't support the protesters. China's foreign ministry releases a report against five eyes countries. but the chinese foreign ministry left out new zealand we can understand that the important trade is happening between china and new zealand so new zealand will not oppose china there is a different of opinion in this matter between the five eyes countries how are they going to solve this issue they call the leaders of the five nations to a phone conference new zealand accepts the invitation but it doesn't oppose china we know that australia is against new zealand Australia is the country which is dependent on China for trade. Australia nearly imports 595 products from China. From pen to garlic, Australia is importing from China. 
Australia's many products are exported to China. After Australia, New Zealand is the second country which is dependent on Chinese products. Nearly 513 products are imported into New Zealand. America comes in at third position with more than 400 products imported from China. Canada is in the fourth position with 367 products imported. Last comes the UK. It imports only 290 products. So the UK is less dependent on China. UK is making its move in many places against China. This move from the UK is supported by the four countries. There was a conference in the World Health Assembly. A resolution was brought against China by the UK. A resolution against 5G network from China was brought in by the UK. The United Kingdom is silently opposing China. When Britain exited Brexit, it needed many products. How is Britain going to fulfill its requirements? Amidst this question, the UK is acting against China. The reason is the Five Eyes countries and CPTPP. On 2005, the Pacific Rim countries, which include Brunei, Chile, New Zealand, Singapore, signed an agreement. The agreement was free trade between these countries. Other countries wanted to join this free trade agreement. America was the one to integrate these countries into this agreement. Barack Obama tried very hard to form an organization which would control the Asian continent. The organization was named TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. Nearly 12 countries were present in this organization. On January 2017, Donald Trump celebrated his first day in the White House as the president. The same day, there was an announcement that America will exit the TPP. They have declared they will not be a part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. When America exited, the organization was renamed to CPTPP. It means Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership. So, it's a federation of countries without China and India. CPTPP was formed to stop the domination of China. In return, China wanted to create an organization of countries in which it would be the leader. This organization was called RCEP, Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. The Asian countries are a part of the RCEP. Countries like Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Laos, Vietnam and six free trade agreement countries which includes India, Japan, South Korea, Australia and New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand are under the RCEP banner. A few days ago, India quits the RCEP because their requests were not implemented. There were discussions with India to join RCEP. If India signs an agreement in RCEP, then China's domination will over India will increase. Why are these agreements signed? If India wants to export to countries in the RCEP, India should reduce the tax rate by 80%. There are chances that many countries would dump unwanted products into India. Already, we are giving 60% trade deficit to China. If we sign the agreement in RCEP, the trade deficit will increase. In RCEP, China is an important country. But in TPP, America was the important country. But when America quit the TPP, it was reformed as CPTPP. CPTPP wants Thailand a part of its organization. The organization has said that RCEP's committee is not good and they have requested joint Thailand to join CPTPP. They have said to Thailand that they will help to export its products to many countries. Suppose if Thailand accepts the offer, this is a huge setback for China. If Thailand joins CPTPP, then the western countries will try to pressure the remaining countries in RCEP. Nearly 40% GDP of the world's trade has been conducted by the CPTPP countries. RCEP stats are nearly 353 crore people's trade has been conducted in RCEP. So, these two organizations are equally strong. So, through the agreements, many countries improve their economy. 
the countries who didn't execute the agreements properly loses big time this loss must not come to india so the far wise countries against rcep and cptpp wants to form another organization they are trying in so many ways to bring in new zealand to their side america announced that it will call back some of its troops which are stationed in germany is there a connection between the trade agreements and the withdrawal of troops from germany which side does germany stand if there is war that should be a germany involved if there is an issue germany will be involved so which side is germany taking this is another view of world politics many asked us is there a world politics which doesn't involve china and america we can discuss germany in another video comments about this post are most welcome please do subscribe for more content to wikivox the voice of wiki nandri vanakkam